For years, people have turned to psychics for guidance. Today, all it takes is a phone call to glimpse the future. But how accurate are these forecasts? Well, lots of happy couples swear by Jill Dane, and they have the marriage certificates to prove it. Jill Dane is known as the number one love psychic in the country because of her uncanny ability to play matchmaker. It's like having a TV camera right in front of me. I can see everything about the person. It's just like if I'm seeing everything, their future in front of me. Jill's mother, Mickey, is also a renowned psychic. She's not surprised by her daughter's talent. Jill has always been psychic. When she was six years old, she was sent home from school with a letter saying she couldn't come back because she was telling the teacher what she was about to write on the board. At age 13, Jill received national attention when she predicted a 1977 terrorist attack in Washington, D.C. And at 17, she began her incredible streak of marriage predictions by foretelling her own wedding 15 years before it happened. She knew that Ellie was going to be the one, and she knew when the wedding would be, how it would be. It was amazing. And sure enough, she married Ellie when she was 32. Jill has also predicted hundreds of other marriages with uncanny accuracy. Rhea Armas was in a six-year relationship when she came to Jill. Her boyfriend's name was Michael, and his birthday was April 19th. Jill always told me, you are going to marry a Michael April 19th, but this isn't him. And I looked at her like she was crazy and said, what are the chances of me finding another Michael April 19th? Rhea was skeptical when she first came to see me. A lot of people are skeptical. I love the skeptical one. She didn't like anything I said. But I saw her meeting another Michael, and he would be born the same day, same year. And I see him giving you a ring in Bahamas, and I see you getting married in March in Vegas. I said, besides that, you're opening your own clothing store. Jill was right. Rhea did meet another Michael. The first time I met Rhea, was in uh, South Beach at a restaurant. As soon as she walked into the restaurant, there was definitely some kind of charge. We had a brief conversation and then uh, we went our separate ways. Over the next year and a half, Michael and Rhea ran into each other several times. Originally, she was not interested. You know, thank you, but no thank you. Michael kept up his quest and Rhea finally agreed to a date and she was in for the surprise of her life. She asked me my birthday. And I told her what my birthday was, and she didn't believe me. I said, April 19th? He says, yes, and I nearly fell out of my seat. Rhea couldn't believe how accurate Jill's prediction had been, but there was more. She got ring in the Bahamas. She got married in Vegas. She has a boutique now, and she's doing fantastic. Anat Ohana was also in a serious relationship when she first went to Jill. At that point in my life, I was dating this guy. His name was Moti. And I basically wanted to know what was going to happen in the relationship. Moti and Anat, he was not meant for her. And I was so in love with this guy. I said, for sure, this is going to be my husband. You know, we're going to end up getting married. But Jill saw someone else in Anat's future. She said, yes, you're, you're going out with a Moti. But the thing is that you're not going to be marrying this guy, Moti. But you are going to be marrying Moti. But it's not this one. I said, oh, what do you mean I'm not going to be marrying this one? How many motives could there be in this world? I never heard that name before. So I saw her meeting another Modi. She says, Jill, another Modi? I thought she was crazy at first because how coincidental is that to have that name? It's just such a unique name in the United States. It's not like you meet a multi every day. You could tell me I'm going to break up with my boyfriend. Okay, I'm going to meet another guy. That's fine. But to tell me I'm going to meet another multi, that was pretty precise. Anat and her boyfriend Moti did break up. And Anat did meet someone else and get married. And incredibly, his name is Moti. Jill also predicted that my uh, husband was going to be in construction. That's what he's doing today. Jill continues to amaze clients all over the world with her astonishing insight and remarkable accuracy. I was the biggest non-believer in the world. Everything that Jill had said was completely accurate. Jill's capabilities are phenomenal. I keep calling her the matchmaker, the psychic matchmaker. She can tell whether you're good or bad together. It comes from 
you know, her heart. I've predicted over 750 marriages. Thank God do I go to a lot of weddings. <laughs>